public policy plays a role in who in our state gets to vote today and how that compares with folks in other states. Researchers say as we reflect on 100 years since the 19th Amendment, it's also important to take a look at voting rights and restoration across the country and in Tennessee. Reporter Gabrielle Hayes shows us the numbers and how Tennessee compares to other states. As we celebrate the ratification of the 19th Amendment, then Tennessee President Shauna Singh Huey says it's a springboard for other conversations about voting rights and restoration. We rank 48th nationally when it comes to sort of failing to return voting, the ability to vote. Think Tennessee is a nonprofit, nonpartisan think tank that looks at state policy. One of the things that we look at is what do all the other states get to have? that our voters don't get to have. OK, so exactly how many Tennesseans can't vote? According to Huey, enough to fill Neyland Stadium four times. There's more than 400,000 Tennessee adults who today can't vote because of a past felony conviction. That is one in 12 you know, voting age Tennesseans. It's one in five African-American adults in Tennessee. She also says comparing Tennessee to other states matters too. We're one of only 12 states that says if you commit a certain kind of crime, you know, never, ever, ever get your votes, your right to vote back. And we are the only state in the country that says you have to be current on child support payments. So with that said, how many people have regained their right to vote? Not many. So since 1990, 3.6%. Huey says there was a bill to address this this year, but COVID brought it to a halt. However, next year it could gain new traction. In Knoxville, Gabrielle Hayes reporting.